When you want to see living things in the deep part of the ocean, you don't have to go very far to see how brutal it is. After we made a video about the Titan submarine and how water pressure literally obliterated this thing, a lot of you suggested to make a video on how deep sea animals don't get crushed to death all the time. Let's go into the deep part of the ocean and see what is happening. We're not gonna go all the way to the bottom. We're gonna slowly make our way down and see what's good. When you get to 200 meters, you can barely see the sunlight now. Most marine life lives until right here and they don't go any lower. And if there is anyone living down there, they can withstand a lot more pressure than a normal marine life. And the lower you go, the more pressure there is and the darker it becomes. Let's go down and get to 1000 meters, a place called the midnight zone. This is when the water goes completely dark and the water temperature in this distance has an average of about 4 degrees Celsius. You could say in this area, the water is always calm. Even if there's a storm going on outside in the open, it doesn't affect down here. And the living creatures don't feel a thing. The water pressure in this depth is 101 atm, which stands for atmospheric pressure. It's good to know that 1 atm is the air pressure on earth on sea level. And that means if you're standing next to the ocean, you're experiencing 1 atm. So in that depth of the ocean, the pressure is 101 times that. That's insane, and you can't underestimate that. Any living human will be dead in a second if they go down there. The only reason these creatures are able to stay alive in these extreme temperatures and pressures is because of evolution. Throughout their history, they always try to go deeper and deeper to find more food and also to keep themselves safe from predators. And after millions of years, they eventually got used to it. One of the biggest differences from deep sea animals to the ones that live in a normal area is the color. The fish that you can find in normal areas in the sea have a lot of vibrant colors and they look beautiful. But what is the reason behind this color? The main reason is communication with their own kind and also to keep themselves safe from predators so they can blend into the environment. But when you go deeper and deeper, color has a completely different meaning. The darker it gets, the darker the colors get. Colors like black and dark red. But why dark red? Because when there's no light, red is extremely hard to see. A creature like this, the vampire squid. The vampire squid lives around 1000 meters depth and the reason it has this dark red color is because it wants to keep itself safe from predators. We just say 1000 meters like it's nothing, but it's insane that a fish like this can handle all that pressure. In this depth, you can find other creatures that evolved completely different. Creatures called deep sea anthropods. The reason they're clear in this depth is because it's harder for them to see it. But either way, in this depth, there are predators and one way or another, they have to find their food. It doesn't matter if you're seeing or not, you're gonna get eaten. One of the most famous predators in the deep seas is the fang tooth fish. Even though it doesn't look like it, but this fish's eye has evolved in a way where it can see in complete darkness, and that is amazing. It put pressure on his eyes for millions of years until it could eventually see in pitch black. There are also different types of fish that have evolved especially in their body that releases pressure and doesn't let it stay on their body. You could consider it like an aerodynamic car, but in the fish's term, it has a very giant nose and head, but a very thin and long tail. 
Where are the sharks? The sharks we know don't go lower than 200 meters and that's because their body has not evolved to handle all that pressure. But there are other types of sharks that have evolved in a way where they can handle the pressure underneath it all. This shark is called the frilled shark and it's considered one of the weirdest sharks in the world because it lives around 1570 meters. And one huge difference from other sharks is that it has a weaker jaw, but it doesn't really need a strong jaw in that depth. Another creature you can find in this area is the giant isopod. The giant isopod can live in this depth and much, much deeper. It could go as deep as 2,500 meters. The isopod is in the crab family but it has separated from them millions of years ago. The water pressure also caused this creature to grow in size because some giant isopods could be as long as and big as one meter, which is ginormous, and you could call it one of the biggest cockroaches in the world. There are a different type of creatures you can find here as well. Creatures that can give off light. The animals that could give off light in the deep seas or even on land are called bioluminescence. The reason these creatures can give off light is because of a chemical reaction that happens inside their bodies. And this is another perk for them because of evolution. You might say, why do these creatures have lights in the depths of the seas? Are they trying to expose themselves for the predators? No, it does the exact opposite. It throws off the predator. And there are also predators that have lights that show themselves as a smaller fish so they can attack the prey. In the northern part of the earth, if you live in this depth of the sea, water gets extremely cold and in some sections, it's below zero. But the water does not freeze and the main reason it doesn't freeze is because it's salt water, so it needs to be a little bit lower for it to freeze. The water might microscopically freeze in some areas, but it doesn't last and it unfreezes along the way. The fishes that live in this water also have a certain protein in their body called antifreeze, and it literally does that. The protein prevents their body from freezing, and if there's creatures down here without this protein in their system, the water doesn't freeze, but they will. The animals that live this deep in the ocean don't have a lot of options for food. And you could say food is the main issue for these animals. But if these living things don't find food, there is another source. Something called marine snow. There are millions and billions of creatures that live on top of them. And eventually they will die and their leftovers will sink to the bottom of the ocean. And whenever they're hungry, they just wait for the snow to come down. There are some animals that evolved just because of the marine snow. A creature called the polychaete. You could compare this creature to a spider where it could put up webs with its spit and catch bugs and insects to eat. The polychaete does the same thing but with marine snow. The marine snow, some of it gets eaten along the way, but a lot of it falls to the bottom. Depending on the depth of the ocean, there are some creatures that only hang around at the bottom and they only wait for the marine snow to fall down so they can start feasting. Like this creature, the swimming sea cucumber, and I'm not sure where they got that name from. These cucumbers are extremely durable because they can go as low as 10,000 meters. It's also weird in a way where you can find these cucumbers in a depth of 200 meters or 10,000 meters 
There is no difference. All they want is to be at the bottom and feast on the marine snow. It's extremely weird for an animal to evolve this way, where it can handle pressures upwards at a 10,000 meters depth, and it can hang around 200 meters no problem. You could probably find these cucumbers around the Titanic wreckage. Scientists have realized the reason these creatures don't get crushed under pressure is because their entire body is filled with water and the pressure of the entire ocean doesn't have to be replaced inside their body. Unlike a submarine where outside there's insane pressure, but inside the submarine there has to be zero pressure. So it's always fighting and that is why it imploded. So these living things have that pressure inside them and that is why they don't get crushed. So who's the champion of the deepest part of the ocean that could handle the most amount? This is that animal, the snailfish. You won't see this fish come up more than 8,300 meters. And in the Guinness World Record, it is known as the deepest creature ever found on Earth's history. And you could find it in the depths of the Marianas Trench, a place where it's 11,034 meters deep. The marine creatures that we all know and love live no more than 200 meters deep and they don't feel like going lower than that. Inside the ocean, it's like a skyscraper. Each floor has its own set of creatures and the remains of the dead fish start to fall down as snow while the other creatures feast on it. 